Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing really good. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different than my usual videos because I'm going to be sharing videos of myself half naked on the internet. Mum, Dad, I hope you're proud. And of course, by that I mean that I'm just going to be doing a swimwear haul and lookbook for you guys. This video is actually in collaboration with Zaful, which is a super ridiculously affordable clothing website and they also stock accessories and of course swimwear. You know what, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I wasn't sure if I'd actually end up doing this video because everything is so, so cheap like I said that I wasn't sure how the quality would be and I didn't want to go ahead and make a full video and just like trash the company or promote anything to you guys that I didn't like. I think I ended up with around 10 different swimsuits and when I was on holiday I test drived every single one. There are a few minor faults but apart from that everything is a pretty big thumbs up so if you guys would like to see what I picked up and how everything looks on please stay tuned. So first of all I start off with the only one piece I got and this really isn't going to look like much when I hold it up but as you can see it's just like full on crochet. And this was ever so slightly too big for me. Everything that I got was in a size medium. I'm around about a size eight in UK sizing. This isn't really like a go swimming swimsuit. It's just something that you're gonna look cool in. You could maybe wear it with shorts or something like that, which is what I did do when I was on holiday. The only problem with this, and obviously I'm not gonna be able to show you guys now. It might be a little bit, uh, a little bit risque, but basically because of the knitting, this is the crotch. And I'm sure you can imagine where I'm going with this. Like, this part here didn't cover everything so I kind of had to shift everything around a little bit and it was okay for sort of like lying in the sun, obviously you will get crazy tan lines with this but um, I'd probably recommend just wearing this as like a top or something like that or maybe if you have a longer body than me because I'm quite short, I have quite long legs but a very short body so maybe if you do have a longer body or something this will work a lot better but for me this is kind of a little bit baggier on the crotch than I would have liked but the quality overall is pretty good. It's something I'd maybe expect that you would find in like New Look or something like that. As you might be able to see, again, this is like the crotch part. It has tie up sides and then you tie up around the back and also around your neck. You'll be able to see a lot better in the cutaway. Um, but yeah, I think for sort of like a style piece, not necessarily a sunbathing or definitely not a swimming one because it literally is just like a knitted material. I think this is pretty good. Next we have a bikini and I actually wore this one multiple times on holiday. I really, really like this. So it's obviously like a sort of bando um, bikini top and it has little clips at the back. So you just kind of slot them in together and it just holds in place. This also comes with little cups as well so you can um, put them in if you'd like. I found it to be ever so slightly too small when I did have the padding in so I just took them out and there wasn't any nipples on show or anything like that. But this stayed up really really well it does also come with straps that you can kind of tie around your neck but I took those off again I got this in a size medium and the quality is very very similar to what again I'd probably say a new look or something would do one word of advice is to maybe be a bit conscious when you're tanning with this because I spent the whole day tanning in this and I've ended up with the wackiest tan lines but as a bikini, I really love this. Next is another one of my faves. So this is like a palm tree bikini and then the top is just a plain white one that kind of just goes around your neck like that. I think this looks super expensive. Like I swear I've seen bikinis like this on Instagram or whatever that retail for like 50 or 60 quids. The bottoms were ever so slightly too small for me. Only slightly, I kind of just had to adjust them to make sure I didn't have like full on muffin top going on. But after a few times wearing them, it did sort of stretch the elastic out a little bit so they fit perfectly fine. One little word of a warning, as you may be able to see in the cutaway, um, these are very, very tiny around this section. So to put it bluntly, your ass is gonna eat these up. And then as far as the top goes, again, it's just like a basic sort of halter neck bikini top. It kind of moves around on the straps, if that makes sense, which I like because I find a lot of bikinis are quite close together. My boobs are not that close together. I need something that kind of squishes them in and this does that and they have little pads in there as well. So really, really like that top and I thought the quality was really good of that bikini. Next, move on to this plain white bikini that may not look like much as I hold it up, but I actually really, really like this on. And as you can see, it's just like a white, Bardo kind of elasticated material and you have little arm holes that you kind of shove in so it's not going to fall down or anything like that. This one again has cups and again the quality is pretty good. I'd say again sort of new look standard. The bottoms again just very very simple just sort of like a standard brief. I did take a little dunk in the pool wearing these for you guys and it did go slightly see-through, so I'm not going to insert that footage, um, but that is just something to be a little bit wary about, although I do find that with a lot of, like, white bikinis. The top was absolutely fine, it's just the bottoms went a little bit see-through, so 
just take note of that. But the fit was absolutely perfect. We then have another crochet swimsuit and I think again this one looks super expensive and the quality is better of this one than the other crochet because this one doesn't have any real holes in it at all. Like you can see the background through there but you really cannot see anything when you wear this. You would need a little bit of junk in the trunk to kind of fill these out because as you might be able to see they're quite almost wide so you would need something to push that butt out a little bit otherwise it would maybe look a little bit baggy but for me I thought these worked really well and again you can adjust the sides. As for the top again it's just like a standard halter neck bikini and this was maybe airing on the slightly smaller side than I would like um, but you can get away with it and again you can tighten it up quite a lot and it's pretty sturdy so it's not going to slip around or anything like that so definitely something I'd recommend sunbathing in. Next we'll move on to this little beige number which looked amazing on the website and it actually is pretty good quality like feeling it. It feels again similar to the white ones so a sort of very swimsuit-esque material, very elasticated. I did like it, I just don't think it necessarily suited my body shape but as you can see it's basically again a very simple sort of brief but it has a little cut out here so you can kind of pop that on your hips a little bit. And then the top itself which I actually quite liked, I think it was just the briefs that maybe cut me up a little bit funny. This is just like a caged bra so it doesn't have any back really or like any closure or anything like that. You just slip it on over your head and I think the top actually looked quite nice so I'd maybe pair this with like a simple black brief or something. The next bikini is quite similar to the red one in terms of style and materials. It's like this scallop sort of edge and again briefs really, really simple just sort of tie up on the sides. These fit quite well and like I said same material as the red one so really like that material. Again very simple top just something you tie around your neck and also around the back. Got pads in there that you can remove so I think that's a really good option and again quality is pretty good and that fit really well as well. The next bikini is probably the most disappointing because I think it was one of my favourites when I first picked it out and it's basically a white top bikini with these bottoms and as you can see the shells have broke on one side. I'd actually say the overall quality is pretty good but obviously it was the side parts here that snapped and that is purely down to the fact that these were a little bit too small for me but obviously the elastic stretches and obviously this part didn't so after a while that did kind of break in half. Again, you can fix it so it's not too much of a big deal but that is just something to note. And then as for the top, again, it's just a very standard bikini top shape. Again, the quality is really, really nice on this but um, let's just talk about the sizing here because that barely even covered my nipple. I did very, very carefully wear this in the video to show you guys. If you do have smaller boobs than me, then I'm sure you're going to be absolutely fine. I'm around about a 32C, 32D, depending on the time of the month. But yeah, if you are around about the same size as me, a sort of size 8, then I'd maybe size up to a large. I don't know how that would fit, but obviously the bottoms were too small for me. The top was way too small for me. Um, but just be wary of that. But if you have smaller boobs, then I'm sure this will be absolutely fine. I then have another one of these scallop bikinis. I guess I was really feeling that trend at the time. Same sort of material as the other two, so really happy with the quality of this. Again, it has little pads in there that you can remove. The bottoms, again, just a standard brief with the scalloped edge. Fit really nicely, really good quality, really happy with those. And then last but certainly not least, I think this is probably my favourite bikini of the bunch and it's this floaty strappy top. Again, this one has pads in it that you can remove and I think the quality of this is so, so nice. The bottoms are just like a terracotta shade and they're slightly wider on the sides so it kind of sucks anything in a little bit. But yeah, I was actually really surprised with the quality of this one, even down to the details where it kind of has straps that you can change the size of. I think this is a really, really good one to pick up. Okay guys, so that is everything that I picked up. Let me know which is your favourite in the comments section down below. And if you want me to do more videos like this, let me know because I definitely can. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload every other day. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys. I really do. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.